This episode of Life Hack Fact is brought to you by the same old corporate interests. Because they know. They know. Fast food knows. Hollywood knows. Washington knows. The CIA knows. They know that if they control the message, then they control your mind. They know that if they can get you to keep shopping, if you keep consuming that slop that they serve you, then you won't ask the real questions. That's what scares them. Knowledge. A real education. Not their <laughs> news. Read a book, people. Paid for by Monsanto. Monsanto. Living's easy if you know how to play. Let this podcast be your game genie. Life hack. Learn one weird secret. Life hack. You won't believe it. Life hack. Tips and tricks to change your life. What happens next will blow your mind. Life hack. Hey there, sexy ducklings. Welcome to another episode of Life Hack Fact. We're here on episode six. I'm Jake, and I can't wait to tell you about a great life hack that I learned. But before I begin, let's go ahead and introduce everyone else who's joining us this week. And let's go around. Hi, I'm Ben. Ben, hey. Have you hacked your life in any great ways this week? Uh, yeah, actually, um, I was just thinking about this uh, new uh, life hack. I, sometimes I like to take quesadillas to work. But I don't have a good container for them, so I took a old DVD cases, put the quesadilla right inside there. That's brilliant. And then, okay. and then you can have as many as you need. You get hungry, like, okay, how many am I going to want for lunch? I don't know. 24? Yeah, portion control. <laughs> right. And so you just get that whole 24 box set. Yeah. And you just, yeah. Your coworkers think you're watching Frozen. Nope, healthy lunch. Very good. And Andreas, who are you? <laughs> well, I nobody's done that in podcasting before, right? <laughs> I invented that. You might say I hacked it. <laughs> very, oh, very that's... clever, Jake. Yes, I am Andreas. Hi, Andreas. I I meant to ask you last time about video games. I don't know if you want to talk about video games here on this show, uh, or I'm... if I'm prying too deeply into your life. Per personally, I was I was looking forward to sharing some pro life hacks oh our, okay fine we'll save that for another day then so life hacks yeah. how have you hacked your life this week um well this week what i learned was is that green is a color that helps creativity <laughs> so what i did was all right get this i i painted my whole room green and it, it is just a forest green and oh i can feel the creativity flowing out of me when i'm in there so ceiling and carpets i went the extra mile here okay i got ceiling carpets bedspread my desktop wallpaper is green so you went the green mile <laughs> <laughs> who is that talking to us well hello i'm ryder hi ryder i'm here to talk about some great life hacks you're in the right place what have you done this week well I had to get some new shoes, and I, I went to the store, I bought the shoes, I get the shoes in the box, I got this box in the bag, I bring it home. What do you do when you bring it home? You throw away the bag, you throw away the box, and then you put your shoes in your shoe thing. Great life hack. Keep the box, keep your shoes in the box, put it in the closet, have a stack of shoe boxes full of shoes. I don't know why more people don't do that. That's so organized. You know where your My shoes are. My life is disorder. Your life... Not the same problem. I look at my shoe box and I say, that is full of shoes. I wish okay. I were you. I would call that Ocean Regime <laughs> France. Absolute order. <laughs> Tanner, that seems like a great place for you to jump in. <laughs> yeah, I'm Tanner. Hey, Tanner. How have you hacked your life this week? Um, well, just this week, my uh, flip-flops. The, the flip-flop part that goes in between your toes ripped straight out. Like, we're talking thongs. We're talking yeah, my about, thongs. Okay, yeah. yeah, my, my flip-flop thongs. Now, admittedly, they're like $4. And I could go to the store, buy a new pair. But I don't want to produce more waste, so I took my bread, and I said, you know what, bread? There's two slices left. If you go a little stale, I'll just eat you. And I took the bread, uh, the sealer device. I don't really... The sealer device. Bread clip? Uh, bread clip. Yeah. That's the word. And I uh, went to the bottom of the thong, and I pushed the uh, the tab back through, and I got it all attached. And I actually... I, I don't mean to interrupt, but uh, I learned an amazing hack about those clips, uh, is... They actually, the color means something. Like, you see orange on there. It means this one was made on Tuesday. It's good to go. Uh, white, that means it was made 
in a southern factory and then shipped up to here oh. to our ACI blanket fort. And if you see green, that's going to help you be creative. Wow. <laughs> I had a blue one. So it's a great advice. Tough roads ahead, Mystery. Man. I have a kitchen-related hack I just thought of. You never know if your milk is bad or your egg is bad. I heard that if you put your egg in the milk, then if it goes to the bottom, the egg is bad. But if it floats on top, the milk is bad. So then you can tell <laughs> that if it's anywhere in between, you're probably Egg on top, milk is bad. Yes. Egg on bottom. Egg there has to be a way. Now, that. we can hack Are this somehow. So we can get a phrase out of this, maybe, well, mnemonic device. Consider this. You take all your milk, you pour it in a pitcher, you put a dozen eggs in there. The dozen eggs you buy every week. And then as they sink to the bottom, you'll know, okay, I'm going to start using up all my eggs. And then as soon as they, they go back up to the top. So wait, but... No, no, no. Oh, it's not even worth it. We, we let's so, take it. I want to come back to this. It's like an egg timer. We're not done. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah but one week egg timer. Speaking of not even worth it, I think we've missed somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that's a nice intro. Hi, I'm Devin. I'm here too. <laughs> yeah, and me and uh, me and Ryder are going to be taking you through a uh, a food alternative hack uh, later in the yeah, show. Coming up. I don't want to get too much into it now, but Looking oh man. I, I just saw uh, some of their, their list, and let me tell you, number four will blow your mind, so mind keep listening. Uh, but that. but let's uh, backtrack a little bit to the previous week in life hacking. What have you done? So this week I found that if I take my hangers, and I have just way too many clothes in sizes and colors that I don't even wear, a uh, huge collection of dresses that aren't even, still have the tags on, I don't wear dresses, they're just, they're just there. Uh, I'm a collector of clothes, you could say, we'll, we'll go more into it, but uh, if you take the hangers, and you hang, uh, rather than all of them on the hook, hang one on the other, then you can store all of your unused hangers in just one big line. I used to babysit, and that's actually a great game as well. Some people go out and they buy barrel of monkeys, they spend all that money, and like, what are you doing? Save some. Yeah, you just throw the kid in a box full of hangers. Box full of hangers and a kid. You can invite your boyfriend or girlfriend over, raid the kitchen, raid the pantry, you're done. The trick is, though, you don't want to throw the kid in a box of plastic hangers. No. Because they'll snap. You want the sharp wire ones. Right, they bend. It's because they bend, and you can, you, can, you can play with them more. Just get a whole bunch of them. It's uh, like a cushion, really. Yeah, it, it works like springs. You just throw the kid in the box, let them bounce around a little bit. They tend to go quiet very quickly. So You, it, you sleep on metal springs, so why can't Same you principle. have them on the metal hangers? Same thing. You could get rid of your bed. <laughs> yeah, actually, <laughs> that was my mind. Life hack, if you don't have pillows... Just take some of your dirty laundry, put them inside a pillowcase, and then, you know, you always have some dirty laundry, so you just cycle through the week, you know? Life hack, don't have a pillowcase. Uh, plastic bags, garbage bags, all all very, very good pillowcase alternatives. That's I found perfect. that rent is lowered, actually, if you just get a big refrigerator box. You just put it out, out back, and then yeah, just move back. into that, and then legally, they can't charge you rent because you're not in the home anymore. And then combine that with your trash bag pillows, and you just got it made. Is this not a great group of life hackers? I can tell already that we're in for quite an episode, but before we get into that, let me introduce myself. Like I said, I'm Jake, and I have just been itching to let you know about this great hack. This one came in from a reader, a uh, listener. Um, what do we have, viewers? Well, we, all, so, all of the above, there's transcripts. A life hack fact fan wrote in to let me know. Uh, I go to the, the grocery store all the time and I always see right there with the rest of the food, there are these bags full of, I don't know if they're nuts or seeds, but I bought some and they are totally inedible. And I complained about this last time on the show. I said, I don't know what to do with these. So I was given a great life hack. All you do, you take these nut seeds, whatever they are, some oil and some heat. You put them together, bam. It's a great new gluten-free snack. I think it's called soda corn. I've just been, I can't stop. So that's my hack for the week. Highly addictive. Right. Uh, but back to the kitchen, back to the eggs, back to the milk. I don't want to dwell too much, but this is just... I mean, this is going to change things. Not for me, I'm a vegan, but I know that some of our listeners are raw or paleo, and I mean, they don't, they can't fall back on too many things. They don't have the space in their fridge because they have so many foods just going bad quickly, quickly, quickly. Uh, they don't have the space to have an egg department in their fridge. Is that what you call it, a department? Some people call it a drawer. Some people call it a department. Egg yeah. divots. Yeah. I tend to let mine be uh, free range, and they just roll about the fridge where yeah. they be. I just dump them in there, and as things go in, they move around. So if you could just put your milk, I mean, open up a drawer, pour in some milk, drop the eggs right there. Not the crisper drawer, though. You don't want your crispy milk. That's oh, part of the no. question. Obviously not. I made that mistake once, threw the milk right out. I kept the card. 
<laughs> Excellent. <laughs> well, there's there's a lot of great life hacks. Like there's one of my favorite life hacks is I break dustpans a lot. Like I who doesn't? Yeah. So one of my life hacks is you you cut them so you got the handle and then it acts as a little dust dustpan. That's perfect. If you rinse it out. Oh. Yeah. It's it's a I pretty the dustpan. The, the, the oh carton. no yeah well, you the, can... the jug. Yeah the jug no you cut the you cut the jug you cut part of it off yeah, yeah, yeah. dump the milk out smart sometimes they just buy the milk and dump the it out trick is. Cut it after you dump the milk. Yeah. Hannah made mm. that mistake the first time. Actually, it works both ways. Because if you're out of a dustpan, but you have an extra jug, you cut the jug, you make the dustpan. But they actually probably don't want you to know that if you have two dustpans and you don't have a jug of milk, you could probably just tape that together and then pour the milk in there. Now you've got your DIY carton and you're good yep. to go. Um, but since we're still on uh, milk jug cartons, uh, another another great life hack I have is, uh, so if you have a lot of colored pencils, so you have kids, you're a kindergarten teacher, first grade teacher, you second grade teacher. Yeah. Uh, say you're five. Say you're five. You can uh, cut part of it off. Staple it to your wall. No one's gonna you can get, get a parent to help you cut it off. Yeah, yeah. Well, if yeah. you stay in the coat hangers yeah, just for a ask, moment, uh, ask an your, adult. Ask an adult, and then you you staple it to the wall, and uh, you put your you organize your colored pencils according to rainbow because that's the only way we're allowed to do it these days. Speaking of repurposing plastic, this is one that I've actually had to do a couple of times. There's been a few times when I've had to top off my oil in a parking lot because I forgot to add oil on time. Oh, as yeah. you do, and I generally have at least one plastic bottle in my car, like just the cheap, like ninety-nine cent water bottles because I drink water bottles. The plastic is cheap enough that you can take your car keys and generally just basically poke it and then rip off the bottom, and it becomes a really nice funnel. I've had to do that. That's on perfect. Numerous yeah. occasions. Power mechanics. Using, works with. You're still using a car though. Still using a car. You used, like from the store? You bought that? I bought that car. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, same thing works with. I ran out of gasoline and I needed to do a funnel. I didn't have a gas can and I didn't have. It was thirty. There was a place near me that had gas cans, but they were like thirty dollars and I didn't have any money. Uh, so I went into the gas station and I got the biggest big gulp that I could. I got two of them. One of them I filled with gasoline. <laughs> And then the other one, I cut a line up and forced into a funnel and then just poured it in there. And that managed to get my car working enough to drive into the gas. Okay, so you did this is a true story. This is, not, this is not a car that just came straight from the lot, though. You hacked this car so that it could run on Big Gulp? No, no, I, I used a Big Gulp cup. Yeah, to, cup. Oh, to I think, uh, uh, illegally put I don't even gasoline know why we have a podcast. It, but yeah, uh, but uh, hack, hacking the Big Gulp cup more than hacking the cars. So. Wait, wait, uh, illegally? I don't know if you're allowed to put gasoline in it. I'm sure there's a rule somewhere about putting gasoline oh, in that's, Big Gulp. It's right on the gas. Like, right <laughs> on the side of the gas thing. It says, do not put this in a Big Gulp cup. Sometimes your car is stuck in the middle of traffic across the street, <laughs> and you're desperate. <laughs> They should really make those uh, those hoses a little bit longer, like minimum fifty feet. <laughs> yeah, fifty, like across the street. Minimum. That's it seems yeah. pretty reasonable. Or, now I just carry a garden hose with me at all times, and that's how I hack that. Is I just two people, oh, one hack. person function uh, pulls the the lever and just hooks the hose up to the end, and then I run it across the street to the McDonald's parking lot where it's pa- broken down, and there you go. I'm going to share another hack with you if you're trying to cross the street or or hold up traffic while you get a hose across the street. You don't want people to run across your hose because no. you, they could puncture it. You could spill gasoline everywhere that's the wrong kind of hack we don't we don't do that here but it's very important to wear reflective gear when you're directing traffic when you're blocking the road these days right i don't have any handy but if you're in a car uh there's actually some reflective surfaces right on your lights on the back your blinkers if you just pop those out which you can use whatever you have your car keys you wedge it in there shimmy it out and there you go. You have a reflective surface. You can wave that and say, hey, don't hit me. Uh, I'm trying to get a hose across the street so I can direct gasoline into a big gulp through this garden hose. <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, going further off of Devin's thing, I, th- I think we can go a step further and hack this even more. I think you've maybe got an extra step in there. Like, I think, I'm thinking we can take out the gas station from the equation, mm. right? So, you know, I'm, I'm interested. Generally, go on. In, anywhere you're able to drive, there are other cars, right? This maybe is true. Go on. Maybe parked, maybe not. But um, keep going. But you know your hose and funnel idea. You don't even need the gas station. You can just you know use suction and take that right from your neighbor's car. Borrowing. I, yeah. Crowdsourcing. In fact, like why don't that. why don't we hack out the gasoline all all together? So you've got these new Tesla cars, right? And they run on batteries. And who has that kind of money? I. You take your normal car. Your normal car has gas. But we all know there's acid inside of batteries, right? So if you take your gas, if you open up your gas cap and you pour some vinegar in there, vinegar is an acid. I feel like if you did that and then you, you put a couple AAA, double A, D just batteries in right there, in just there. just get them in there and you maybe stir them around a little bit. I'd be willing to guess you could just stick a plug in in there and charge it right up. You don't really need to spend that much money on an electric car if you can just make your own. That 
Yeah, it's really all the same thing, electricity. This is a great segue into one of my favorite segments that we do on the show, Retractions. This is this is my retraction. Tanner is retracting for the fourth time. Um, my my retraction is is last week. I was talking about a life hack um, that was suggested to me by a listener, and it was if you have a pizza in your car, how you can keep it warm is by turning your seat warmer on. And I said that was quote bougie or one percent because I personally don't have a seat warmer in my car. And I found out later that seat warmers are kind of standard now, and I just have an older car, and it's not that it's bougie, it's just that it's middle class, and that's not who I am. And I I respect other people's right to having a seat warmer, and I apologize if I offended anyone by calling it bougie or 1%, and the fans really hated it. And I, I got a lot of email from that uh, as well. It's one thing to not buy a car with the seat warmer built in, yeah. but aren't you a life hacker? You know, well, when how I'm going to hack it now is I'm going to put it on the floor of my car. And I'm going to turn on the foot vent and put it on max heat. And that's how I'm going to warm it. And if you don't have a seat warmer, that's how you'll have to do it. That's how I'm going to do it. That's a great idea. You know, there are also so many alternatives. You have right there. Now, you're not a smoker, but you have a cigarette lighter in your car. That produces heat. And you have a seat, which is flammable. That's a great source of heat. Uh, my retraction, I got so many people letting me know my original invention for a money-making hack was not as original as I had thought. It turns out this is actually an old hack that is called identity theft. Uh, apparently that exists. So so my apologies uh, that it's not my invention. I did think those steps through on my own. I hadn't heard those before. Uh, but I got a lot of great advice on ways to improve my identity theft hack. So thanks to all who wrote in. So this is kind of a retraction, but you're going to do an update in the future. Right. I, I think that okay. we'll be able to spend some time on that. My my method was a bit crude. The way I envisioned it was a little like that movie Mission Impossible, where they take the, the identity. Um, John Travolta and Nick Cage come together and they look at each other and then something goes up. I think that's how that movie works. Uh, there's red and green gum. <laughs> Their visages are just removed. Visage removal. Oh, Freaky Friday. That's the one. <laughs> I love John Travolta and Freaky Friday. <laughs> Him and Lindsay Lohan really make a good pairing. When they're both looking at each other in the mirror and like, oh, it's great. <laughs> and you know what? Actually, it's really good to see him in something other than a yoga com a yogurt commercial. Yeah, mm -hmm. his activity mm -hmm. was, I mean, let's not mince words here, inspired. But uh, yeah, I like to see him, you know, really falling into his role of a middle-aged mom. Yes. I'm not going to slide him for introducing me to probiotics, though. That's Been hack my digestion. Yeah, no, hack everyone's digestions. Fun fact about that mirror scene, by the way, with Lindsay Lohan and John Travolta. Did you know that Freaky Friday is actually a remake? Uh, this was originally done by Lucille Ball and uh, one of the Marx Brothers. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Which Marx brother? You know, they're all... The left one. The left one? Oh, Carl. Oh, oh Carl. Yeah, 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 Carl. <laughs> you know, the Marx Brothers, Carl and Bono. <laughs> Stage left. Uh, I'm sorry. Marky. <laughs> The whole funky bunch. <laughs> the whole funky bunch. <laughs> DJ Mark and Mark is a uh, avid listener. Not I... Mark Wahlberg so much, but DJ yeah. Mark and Mark. His persona. <laughs> hey, Mark and Mark, say hi to your mom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'd love to say hi to your mom. Oh, yeah. Good end. Do we have any more retractions? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I do have uh, one more retraction. Oh, good. Um, please don't try the uh, pencil sharpener blender hack that we tried last week. Debbie from San Francisco, get well soon. I... I heard a lot about that, and we got it to work so well when we did it live on the show. It sounded great. It did. I thought we were giving good advice. Uh, I guess, uh, use supervision. Pair of safety goggles, at least. Maybe some gloves. Let us know what works for you. Let us know how you hack our hack. Be extra safe And that, there, that wasn't a pun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I have one more. Oh, um, please. So my life hack for unlocking Metal Mario... That only works because my friend Tom, his dad works for Nintendo. It's it probably not just going to work for anybody. I don't want everybody going out there getting too excited. It's, it's an isolated hack. No amount of repurposed hangers and milk cartons is going to get you there. We should also retract the Goku unlock. I will not do that. I 
I'm like I can't do the Goku unlock. Stick to your guns, Ryder. I have Goku. I I don't have Goku. My N64 doesn't work anymore. I I could totally show you. I how many hangers did you use? I used like sixty to seventy (laughs) percent. That's of the hangers that he had available. What what outlay though? What alloy? Uh, alloy, like aluminum. Alloy. aluminum oh, copper. like a, can you get a bronze? Aluminum hangers? <laughs> Poly polyurethanium. <laughs> okay. Is what the... See, there's my problem. I'm switching to tinfoil. Okay, hangers. so that yeah, you have to use polyurethanium hangers to uh, get the Goku hack on the um, N64. You just gotta you gotta finagle it a little yeah. bit. What's the smash? <laughs> I don't. I don't think there was a finagle. There right? was a finagle. No, a little finagle. We'll come back. We'll. That we'll was no we'll finagle. release it on the site. <laughs> Look you for it. I, I actually just thought of another uh, retraction. So uh, going back all the way to episode one, we recommended that you eat popcorn with chopsticks to help save your fingers from getting greasy. Sounds like a great idea. One of us actually got around to trying it, and it turns out that when you're eating with chopsticks, you can't actually watch the film because you have to focus so much on every individual kernel of popcorn. So um, take that blender, uh, get the pencil shavings out, and you want to just throw all the popcorn in there, blend it up. Oh, use your soda. Uh Uh-huh. Your soda. Use the soda. Are you so, talking about soda corn? Have you known about this since episode one and you didn't tell me about this? That's what soda corn is? That's what soda corn is? I, th- I thought that was just... I, th- <laughs> I thought that was... I thought that wow. was movie. When I corn. heard what soda corn is, my mind was blown. Who knew it came from nuts and seeds? I teared up. <laughs> it's, actually, neither. It's a, it's a kernel, but... <laughs> I don't really know it's ranking in the military. I'm sort of a peacenik. <laughs> it's it's a I don't need animal. anything above a private. <laughs> Speaking of peacenik, there was actually a retraction that I was hoping to make myself. Oh, please. Go on. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not so much a retraction as a defense, but La- incorrectly got, regarded as retractions. I got I got a few <laughs> messages from the fans last show and and guys Guys, when I said eating your children to feed yourself was a good hack, that was a joke. Allegory. It was a joke. Yeah, let's put a swift end to that. It's like... <laughs> it's, it's gone too far. Sometimes you guys just need a sense of humor, and I, I, it's my fault for not coming across the right way, but seriously, you just need to lighten up. You, there, was, there was truth in it. It is true that you can hack out nutrients from living things, meats, plants and actually add those to your body. That part was true. No apologies for that. Uh, sometimes we get a little out of hand here. We get a little goofy. A little we rowdy. Do, oh, we don't, don't do some sillies. That's all that was. We're a few crazy guys. Take yeah. the hack. You take it up. You, you shake it a little bit. You dust it off. You appreciate it for what it is, and you put it in the ha-has. You know? Just put it put it in the ha-has. Leave it there. Don't don't put it in the to-dos when you're putting the ha-has, Okay. <laughs> When you're having a bad day, go to the ha-has, pull that one out. When you got some time on your hand, just go look at your to-dos. <laughs> anyway, you want to just pour those uh, blended popcorn kernels right into a bowl, and uh, you can eat them with a spoon. Don't have to look. Can My you fact. put them in the silly straw hats? Just two little containers of popcorn. <laughs> oh. Popcorn shreddies, and just bring them through the straws. Uh, yeah, the danger, though, is with the sucking. We don't want to inhale the fine popcorn dust. Oh. Remember that... when we tried to do the crazy hat cinnamon challenge? Oh, yeah. Same basic oh. principle. <laughs> We I did mean, it in the theater too. You didn't have to hold them down that long, but that it did come out. I, you put that one in the ha-has, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the, the ha-has and the maybe shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, the oh. Uh-oh. Like, yeah, it was the uh-ohs. <laughs> <laughs> I still miss Mark. The doctor said he should be back next month, though. Give us some Mark. Moment of we miss you very much. I'm sure he would. He would retract himself if he was here today. He would. He would have retracted that. Well, he did kind of retract, and that's that was part of the reason for the surgery. <laughs> oh, man. Right in the uppos. That was the ha-ha's. I think, clear. I think that one counts as an uh <laughs> Oh, no! It's surprising how often the ha-has and the uh oh's just kind of overlap. They're that nice center slice of a Venn diagram. Well, they're, they're two stickers on the same folder. They, you know? they say that tragedy plus time equals comedy. 
That's Granted, it's only been three days, but, you know, time is time. I think with a tragedy that big, you don't need quite as much time. That's how it works. More of one makes the uh, less of the other. I'm pretty right. sure that's... In verse two plus two equals four. If you get one up to three, then you only need one of the other. Yeah. So, 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 like, if, if I get a splinter, that's not going to be funny for a long time. If I get hit by a bus tomorrow, you guys can pretty I'm much laugh already. while you're yeah. taking me out from under the bus. <laughs> but, you know, they say know don't forever spilled milk. Milk's been around for eons. We're still upset about it. It's not that big of a deal. Probably never going to get over it. That's true. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to go over some kitchen hacks for you guys now. We're going to lead off with uh, a recipe that me and Ryder have been <laughs> experiencing Ryder and I. Ryder, uh, Ryder and me. Wow. Grammar hacks. Grammar hacks. Grammar hacks. You can you can say me instead of I, and it doesn't matter anymore. Uh, I still understood it. I didn't. It doesn't it's, follow it's, the regular rules. It's and yet English, I if, if English has multiple words for the I, same thing. English is an influx, and I'm starting to have a bit of a panic attack. Um, so if you could just say it the well, right Tanner, way really quick, one, Tanner, one time, one time, Tanner please, and me please, could, could get along could, on this. Could you please say it right? It's all hacked together from the same 26 letters. <laughs> you right. can make if, any word. I and Ryder. <laughs> Better. <laughs> all right. Got uh, Lady anyways, Gaga over here telling uh, us how <laughs> pronouns uh, work. Me and Ryder have been, uh, experimenting. Tanner, a hack for your brain is to just face your fears. I... <laughs> You immersion know, therapy Im <laughs> ending sentences prepositions with <laughs> i you can't see it on the podcast but i am literally on the floor not ruffling but i am rolling he's not rolling you guys he's sitting on a couch yeah. in a blanket just for chilling, man. i'm gonna cut you guys <laughs> That's kind of a, a hack, too, though. Like, if that, you're ever just audio only, then you can make up lies. And as long as you don't have people around to <laughs> correct you. <laughs> Life hack. Lie when able. <laughs> I just realized we are inside of a hack right now. Technically, are, let's yeah. let's bring up our, our TP. We're in a TP made of blankets with a metal grate at the very The metal top. grate is new. You know, as as you have been listening to the show, that we are always in our blanket port. Our blanket port has upgraded to TP, though. We can send smoke signals out of the top of this. It also oh. allows for airflow to flash beneath the fort up and out. It's um, being held up by crutches. That's a bonus. We do have yeah. actual literal crutches, couches, blankets, and bulldog clips, and AKA some kind of clips. kitchen wire. Yeah, yeah. Um, AKA metal clippy thingies. Uh, purse, goes awesome purses. Pinchy things. Kite string. Oh, yeah, kite string. And, uh, well, AKA of course, the usual Sean blankets and, uh, when, and a house. When, when, your and budget a, well, gets, when your budget gets increased, you spend money wisely. Yeah, yeah well, thanks. You get, to, oh, you get some metal clippy things. Yeah, let's yeah. thank our, our donors real quick John, Stacy, Sarah. Right. And, thanks. of course, everyone at Tra La La Radio. Well, yeah, our our parent network. Thanks for helping us hack. Thank our, you, Ladu family. Thank you, Ladu family. <laughs> thank you. Speaking of the Ladu family. <laughs> Me and Ryder have been. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, but could you? Okay, I, Ryder and I. Thank have you. Been, Tanner's face just went from red to regular color. <laughs> Um, anyways, Ryder and I have been experimenting with uh, kitchen hacks and what do you do when you really don't have any food stuff? And what we found is this thing called rice ladu, uh, which is a um, it's a side dish from somewhere else. Uh, Karnataka. It says this website that I found it on. Anyways, it generally consists of mainly rice, something called jaggery, cardamom, some almonds, two teaspoons of ghee. You oh, mix them in a uh, bowl. Ghee is clarified butter, by the way. Ah. Two teaspoons yes. of clarified butter. Uh, so there is butter. Not in mine. <laughs> oh, that's... Probably not, wouldn't make a difference. We Anyways. hacked it together. We actually found a great hack. This is a great way for all you foodies out there to save some time when you're preparing recipes. It's called go to a store and buy it. Yeah. <laughs> they actually just have foods waiting for you in bags, in boxes. So we went and purchased, or Jake went and purchased some, some rice latu. And we're going to have Ryder, I'm going to finish mine. I started earlier. Ryder's going to try it for the first time. We'll let him describe it to you. And then we'll kind of give what our reactions were as well. So Ryder, time to man up. Uh, why don't you <laughs> kind of ease us into this as well? Because we yeah, have do an store bought. Uh, let us know. So I've got this, uh, it's a, 
got this great little bag here. It's there's a couple left because you know everyone else has been enjoying them. Um, I'll give you a good, <laughs> good old just take a knife whiff here. Enjoying is a great hack of the truth. <laughs> so, uh, how thick is the bag, by the way? Uh, it's, it's a pretty thick bag. I think it's meant to keep these from escaping. It's, um, it's, well, <laughs> so they I, haven't reached the point of hatching yet, but yeah, any day now, there'll be spiders in there. Put so, them in your milk. We'll find out how far along they are. The 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 first smell kind of smells like like a construction site Play-Doh kind of kind of <laughs> all aura. Um, and we've got a mm. a hard lump. I wish there were more. With what I wish was sugar. Maybe it is. There's sugar uh, in there. I, why have there, you? There are a sugar? few ingredients you recognize. How would you, how would you describe the color? It is... Sorry. <laughs> Devin's struggling over there. I inhaled some of mine on accident. It's a dark tan. Sort of like a uh, like a cookie dough from heck, if you will. It's speckled, though. From a distance, it actually looks like a genuine rock. Like, you could just... <laughs> If go I outside this, and find that somewhere. It's, or, or maybe a really misshapen potato. I wouldn't eat this if I picked it up off the ground. I would think nature made this. But it wouldn't be weird to find it on the ground. No, if this was in, like, a it's, garden, I would say, well, what a nice speckled or rock. Small it's a weird combination habitat. of totally solid and also completely dusty. Yeah. At all point, like, from outside to center, it's always, like, rock hard and also completely will just turn into powder. If it, a magician came up to me and said, this is a sandstorm zone, I'd be like, I'm with you, man. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> this song by Darude. Yeah, this is he'll ask me the song started it was. All right, I'm gonna take a nice big old bite. Just this is just it gives off a nice aura of how, inedible. Well, before don't, don't, before you oh oh before, before you I bite will. it, tell tell me how you're going to bite it. I'm just gonna put my teeth on it. And top well, and front bottom. teeth, back teeth. Ca careful, front don't teeth. pop the whole thing in your mouth because you won't be able to talk. Because uh, it is it is very hard to talk. we'll be able to it describe things. We're very you, polite. Yeah. This is the most tasteless fork. powder I've ever put on my mouth. I just licked it because I I, ba I I backed off. But um, <laughs> this is tasteless. All right, here we go. He's biting it here. The okay, crunch. so he's describe now, it as you taste it. He's um, now chewing it. The first two seconds were okay. The rest of this is just gravel. <laughs> oh, he has a little bit of powder on his lip. <laughs> There's the cumin. <laughs> Which, as Tanner discovered earlier, is not ground. These are no. full seeds. Yeah, yeah they're, oh. they're the crunchiest part of the entire... Uh... So, looking at the recipe, it calls for you to extract the cumin seeds from whatever cumin seeds come from. I forget what the thing was. That's and right. then just put them in the bowl. That That is that is the recipe. <laughs> it's extract the seeds from what they are in and mix them a whole just piecemeal into the ingredients. So, I feel like if you had a bowl that you cook things in for years and years and years, wherever that place is, and there was like a, maybe a millimeter left of film, left on that bowl. It doesn't matter what you're cooking. You'd be cooking cookies or, or whatever other terrible mm -hmm. things. And then that bowl got like a three-inch crust on it over a thousand years. And then you left that bowl in the desert for another thousand <laughs> years. And then that desert got covered by an ocean. And then eventually David Cameron or somebody picks it up. They take a, a nice chunk of it. Now it's going in my mouth. <laughs> oh, this is just terrible. <laughs> Am I the only one who found them yes. tolerable? Okay. Yeah. And okay, so I like to describe it as the first half a second is sh brown sugar, and then immediately your mouth fills with taco seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> Just instantly. It's it's like eating a desert. I, I, yeah, and I then pop once, the whole thing in my mouth. Once the flavor goes away, you still have these nice rocks that just <laughs> it, jingle around between your it's, teeth. It's like sand on the beach. It gets everywhere in your mouth, and you can't quite get rid of all of it. You, yeah, I, I feel like if you took a microscope to my mouth, you would find like the, the guy from Journey made out of cumin seeds on a dusty expanse on my tongue. <laughs> like <laughs> that's about where I'm at with this. Who is Steve Perry? Oh, this. Okay, I was yeah. gonna ask. I <laughs> wasn't gonna let that one end there. I was gonna tell you about Steve Perry. Or actually, no, I guess why. he's not anymore. Now it's that guy who sounds just like Steve Perry, but isn't him. Oh, While yeah, Steve Perry goes off. Uh, Tyler. I don't know why. Steve Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler Perry. You really can't go wrong. <laughs> Steve and Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> this is on Riders Talk in the Desert. I don't know what you said. What? It, what was the from? Uh, journey. I don't. Oh, journey. journey. Yeah. Journey. In my head, I saw I Am Legend, and I was like, oh, Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> that's a cuban Will Smith in the <laughs> desert on my tongue. And then, I was like, to why, why does it make you think of abandoned New York? <laughs> you know, that's actually not a bad I analogy. Just, <laughs> yeah, right? Okay, so all like, of the nastiness of New York, all the people left and it entered your mouth. <laughs> Wait, where was, where was Journey from? I want to say they were more like Midwest, but... They might. No, they probably what, weren't. I was going to say Boston. Oh, the band thought, Journey? Yeah, yeah that's, that's where Boston. he went. I thought it was a movie, like... <laughs> or like the game Journey. Oh, like, the Detroit. game Journey is based on the band Journey, though. <laughs> They're from South Detroit, You're right? thinking of the... Born and Raised. 
I don't believe they are. <laughs> I okay. believe that is just a character in a song. That is not autobiographical. Don't stop believing. The more you guys talk, okay. I, I keep losing no, there's, the reference. <laughs> Journey Escape is a real video game that is not the video game you're thinking. The it writer was, is it's audibly in, frowning. Yeah, he's not <laughs> loving this. Audibly right, frowning. Right. <laughs> Visibly frowning. And I've, okay. never, I've never seen writer <laughs> genuinely frown. What, what percentage of the way into this are you? There's like, a lot. There. These... 25%. 20% maybe. <laughs> so the what's actually strange about these is unlike the rest of physics, the mass is exponential. So <laughs> while you have eaten 25% of where you started, you are 5% done. <laughs> so what, I, what I'm going to take a long time to get here, through that. I think you should do what I did, which is don't, don't drink too much. Just pop it the whole... expands in your stomach. Yeah, pop the <laughs> I'm not going to be hungry for four days. Pop the whole thing in your mouth, and then just sort of, like, vocalize at the same time to give us an idea of how you're feeling. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to cover, like, we're gonna cover our eyes because we're very polite. Limnus bread in uh, Lord of the Rings, where he's like, one bite can sustain you for four days, and we're eating, like, five pounds of it. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> nutrition facts. They didn't even bust. We have ingredients facts. as well. Uh, we've got 100 per... It says one ounce. For This is all for one ounce. I think this is a little bit more than one ounce. That looks like more than an ounce. It probably <laughs> feels like more than an ounce, it's especially be like when two it's ounces. passing through those lips. 159 calories. Uh, 93 are from fat. 10 grams of fat. 6 grams of saturated fat. 336 milligrams of sodium. Loving that. <laughs> Tastes every gram of it. Oh. It, yeah. 5 grams of protein. I'm pretty sure that's just the pieces of my lip I'm biting off <laughs> to eat this. <laughs> Dietary fiber, three grams. That's all? Three grams of sugar. <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, it's like some, if I would be so kind as to see that. You may be it's like, so Okay, kind. so for the people Thank at you. home, if you've ever seen or had a bag of Cheetos that you open and you get that big lump of just seasoning that's been like congealed into a ball, if someone sold just that for way more than <laughs> Jake should have paid for it, any if it, it was, wasn't, okay, let if me it tell wasn't you. free from a homeless person in an alley, <laughs> then you overpaid. I want to tell you my process for this, because this is a hacking show and I would like to bring it back around to hacking. I was at the Indian grocery store last night, and I was looking for some new snacks, and they actually had several variations in, and other snacks that, uh, in terms of ingredients at least, were very similar to this. And this was one that uh, was acceptable on my diet and was fairly inexpensive. So that's how I chose this, never having heard of rice ladu. Now, as we have observed, these have an uncanny resemblance to rocks. All right, we're gonna, are you gonna toast these? I was gonna toast that... them and then take another bite. All I'm right, you're gonna... I, I it's would... an audio show. An audio yeah. show. It's a toast. There clink, clink. clink. And let's go for it, man. All right. Another bite. Just pop it in your mouth. I am not going to pop it. <laughs> I it. Devin, Devin's going. <laughs> I don't like it. A writer's chipping Some gently effort away. in that bite. You have to, like, really. I don't like it. So, eating this is like, oh, God. <laughs> it's like my, <laughs> oh, uh, it's no, like my tongue no. experiencing its whole life from start to finish again. <laughs> because it goes from, like. It is every flavor are, you've ever experienced. There are happy times. There is despair. <laughs> There is nothing. It's like the back of an Indian restaurant in my mouth. <laughs> it's like what they sweep up off the floor in an Indian restaurant. Oh, dude, that is oh. so, that is it. There it is. That, that yeah. is, we did it. <laughs> yeah, this is so an sorry, Indian yeah. restaurant dustpan. <laughs> Broken I, dustpan. You it's know what? Hacked. Yeah, it's been hacked. <laughs> I can't wait for redaction. <laughs> right, I can't. I can't. You just, I'm not even gonna. Are you gonna drop that? In? <laughs> 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 we'll never be able to get it out. The rice ladu has entered the water. I can't finish. We are I, now doing an experiment. You almost heard someone throw up on a podcast. <laughs> ladu that, hacks. That's gonna like turn into a dinosaur. Like, I can't I wait like... to edit this episode <laughs> and just listen to that sound again and again. All right. So you brought up dinosaurs. I I'm bringing it back. We're keeping it focused. Sorry. Well, that... um, uh, no, dinosaurs are are good. We don't need to apologize for that. No retractions here. I saw a lot of these at the grocery store, the the Indian grocery store. Uh, I'm not terribly familiar with Indian cuisine. We are in America recording this, so this is a new flavor sensation for all of us here. But apparently this is a, if not popular food, at least there's some reason that someone keeps making it. I feel like there's a reason that we could get this for sale in uh, traditional American grocery stores. I want to hack rice ladu into your Walmarts and your Kroger's, well, your Albertsons, your Food Lions, I whatever think... they have around. Sorry, I'm going to cut you off because I, I want to focus on the rock-like qualities and turn this from a negative into a positive. Do you remember the 1990s? Yes. I, I can hardly remember. Oh my goodness, yes. When all of the rice ladu was made... <laughs> we had in those days hogs. Is it where you're going with this? Hold no. on to that. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Put a pin in it, please. I remember seeing a lot of ads. I think they had these animated ads in, on TV. I definitely remember seeing them in magazines and comic books. Brock's Rocks, where there was this whole thing where it was like this Denver the Last Dinosaur looking dude who was like 
Hey everyone, I'm a dinosaur. Want to see what I have for snacks? And they'd be like, whoa, you eat rocks? Because dinosaurs eat rocks apparently. And they were like these purple gummy rocks. And it was like, you want to be cool like a dinosaur, don't you? Yeah. Eat rocks, oh. rocks. I feel like a dinosaur character could really bring Rice Ladu to America, mm -hmm. into our lives. And the lives of our friends time. and family. And they are making that new Jurassic Park. I'm thinking product that, oh. We could go with the... Remember, if a meteorite comes and decimates the entire Earth and there is nothing left to eat, you, you might want a couple ladu. Or, or, or you more than likely, that's all that will be left. <laughs> uh, I believe you mean a devastate. To decimate would be to destroy one-tenth. There would still be 90% left. So mm. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, 90% <laughs> okay. will just be rice ladu, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, please. <laughs> well, you know, it's it's the, there's the, what is it, the crust and then the mantle? Mm -hmm. so rice ladu is actually, the recipe I found is for recreating it, but really it's just <laughs> mined ore from that second layer down. Nine-tenths of the planet is actually rice ladu. Wow. <laughs> Rock, gravel, and cardamom, that's nine-tenths of the planet. It's just seasoned sandstone. <laughs> but on, on that life hack line, I mean, if the branding doesn't work, mm -hmm. excellent, excellent choice for just mixing with concrete and resurfacing dry. <laughs> Ways. A nice, um, a nice look to it. Yeah, an attractive garden that won't need much upkeep. Yeah, street weapons. Uh, you can just throw them at people and they'll, when, they'll die. When That's... the government collapses, yeah, perfect street weapon. And if you don't have to use it, you can eat it. I want to retract my statement about gardens. This would actually be the worst thing to put in a garden. I meant a stone garden where you would never have anything living. Although, would to be ever perfectly survive. honest, I would not be surprised if when you planted it, something came out of the ground. Uh, you would salt the earth in the process. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, however, <laughs> possibly cardamom plants, because there are whole seeds in there. And as far as I can tell, it hasn't there, actually been cooked. There's actually whole cumin in there. Cumin. Now, the ocean levels are rising. This is what scientists have been telling us for quite a while now. We have the polar ice caps melting, more water coming into our cities. Uh, ocean levels are rising. We need something dry and absorbent. Let's see what happens with that rice ladu in that cup over there, because I swear uh, you had more water only moments ago. I will say, yes, uh, while you were talking, uh, it began to fizz, and then once the first layer came off, that stopped, and now occasionally bubbles are rising from inside of it, and it's growing fuzzy. We could probably stack them up on uh, just outside the shores, maybe like a few feet up, and we could probably put a city the size of New Orleans on there. To all the ladu enthusiasts out there, I just want to reiterate while the taste is not my cup of uh, ladu balls, um, I can definitely respect it as a product. I can definitely I respect two of something them. so heartily made. Oh, and, and you did, yeah. Jake. I, I, yeah. I, I, At least one person will go back <laughs> and try it again. Well, I also, I had one last night. You guys were not introduced to these until today. I'm wondering if maybe what I'm actually experiencing is something akin to the movie The Stuff, where the people... Eat. Has anyone seen this movie? No, I've but I, I, I think I can... Glean the whole story from <laughs> what you said just now. Wait, is it is it based on the on the song by um? Uh, There's a song in the block. Oh, no, there was. I think this actually predates New Kids. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nor is it on the Weird Al parody of it's the a, New Kids it's, on the Block. It's pre NK. Yeah. Okay. It, it is from the '80s. Yeah, you probably have figured out the entire plot. I'm just going to say my favorite line from it: "We all have to eat shaving cream sometimes," and that's all you need to know about the stuff. <laughs> Nabisco. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta Monsanto. buckle down and get a handful of ladu and have a tough day. <laughs> Actually, some shaving cream on your ladu might not be the worst. Actually, yeah, anything to mess the flavor. <laughs> to the podcast audience the out there, I would seriously eat shaving cream with the ladu before I would eat more ladu on its own. <laughs> Between the choice of eating a... Uh, I could go piece by piece. I was fine. But I bit half of it into my mouth, and half of that went back in the cup. Yeah, I would gladly take a dare on eating shaving cream over <laughs> any more of this. Oh, I'm eating shaving cream on it. I think it's a. I think it would help because then your body would be like, you have some moisture. Oh, to go I'm with eating it. chemicals. I should probably not accept this. Where with ladu, it's like, oh, I'm I feel like this was food a thousand years ago, so maybe it's okay. Yeah, that's, that's the feel. It's sort of like you're on this weird situation where you got one foot on the dock, one foot on a boat. It's like. Yeah, if, if, Maybe that's what Americans need, is more of that, just like, this is dangerous, these chemicals should not be in my body, and then that's how we can get it to catch on here on this continent. Life hack, eating bad food, you put a little ammonia in there, <laughs> and then, then when you try to eat it, ne next time you try to eat that Big Mac, you're going to be like, this Big Mac tastes like ammonia. Ammonia? Ammonium. 
Oh, 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 oh. Ammonium would work. Uh, life hack. Ammodium? Someone <laughs> say Ammodium? Uh, you might need some Ammodium when you're done with your rice latte. Next week on Life Hacks, <laughs> who went to the bathroom? <laughs> Spoiler alert, probably no one. I think that the fact that me as a control being sacrificed to eat Ladu needs to be addressed. <laughs> I could possibly have been the only one to survive, but here I am. <laughs> How is that fair? <laughs> sure science progresses but let's talk w- about one more hack before we move off of rice ladu now initially we all jumped right into this bag and Ryder hung back a little bit so this is a great way to get people to do things that they don't want to do is like be a part of a group and everyone in the group is doing the same terrible thing that they all hate and they will all regret soon enough that's a great way to encourage someone to try something jumping off bridges it's called uh uh, uh peer inspiring <laughs> Pure inspiration. Yeah, I like happy pressure. Everybody went, wants to make everyone else happier, and they know the person who's not doing it is not as happy because they're not doing the thing. Yeah. So if they all just encourage them through... Five of us it all works. do something. You want to be left out? It works the same way. Even if everybody feels really bad, and one person, brighter in this case, feels really good about himself, how is that fair? Bring them down to your level. Right. I Equality. A flat plane is a happy plane. Yeah, exactly. We don't need any spires or pits around here. I don't think you really understand aerodynamics. If, if you could project a single sheet of metal through the air, I'm pretty sure it would be a happy plane. I, Especially if you put that smiley sticker on it. Yeah, you paint the front of it, the one pixel, no, life pixel. Life pixel. Life pixel. So, are you frustrated with inches? Just use pixels. Life, life hack. Life, <laughs> it's a life hack. Make your own system of measurement. What is your resolution, right? <laughs> <laughs> Eat more greens? I... <laughs> 720 by eat more greens. That's my, <laughs> <laughs> That's my life resolution. <laughs> like anything, it seems good until you get up close. <laughs> oh, I got that about three quarters of the way through me laughing. <laughs> it's that happy pressure. <laughs> Laughing, well, I, I found it funny for other reasons, and then it clicked with Ben, and it just kind of re-upped everything. Chuffa, though. It's Chuffa. 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 Welcome back to Life Hack Fact. We're so excited to share with you some summer fun hacks. Now, by the time this episode goes out, I don't know if uh, it'll be the end of summer or early autumn, but either way, we're going to be going back to work, going back to school, and it's time to show off those tans. Unfortunately, some of you may live in areas where tanning is a little difficult. And of course, we know about the health risks of tanning beds. Remember, uh, life hacking is a lot like computer hacking. Just like a computer can get a computer virus when you're not careful enough when you're hacking, if you're reckless in your life hacking, you can get sort of a life virus. So be very careful about that. Like the flu. I'm not familiar. That brings us to a great tanning tip, which didn't come to us from Tanner. It would have been good. I wish I, I could have left. Oh, good I wrote man. a whole intro and then I found out that... I, I just tanned the normal way. You didn't do that. So but I didn't. I don't... I don't... I, this is an accidental hack. I l- was writing down tans. I wrote tans, question mark, because I knew that this was something that we'd really want to get in the show, and my pen slipped, and I found out that tans is just one letter away from tang. Now, what better way to tan your skin than with a little of every astronaut's favorite orange-flavored beverage? Not a sponsor, but we're open. Uh, you guys know how to reach us. Yeah, NASA, if you want to send us money. Right. Or an orangutan. I know you have so much money or a monkey. Please, a female orangutan, please. Male orangutans are very aggressive. I think we have just enough spot in the blanket port for a uh, life hack orangutan. Mm-hmm. I could... Wonderful. I'd love to do an episode live on location on the moon. And the International Space Station. We have I'd a like lot a of interviews. Dollars. The International <laughs> <laughs> you know, I... If we're wishing for stuff, oh, can I have a car? Yes. Can sorry. we do a Kickstarter for moon? Moon, moon, moon mission? Moon show would be great. You know, oh, ooh, let's just do one for money. 
Moon. Just kidding. Moon. Kickstarter. Yeah. Ben million wants a million dollars, you guys. <laughs> No one is listening. <laughs> the stretch goal for $800,000 could be the opportunity to keep giving us money until we reach a million dollars. And then sweet picks of us doing sweet hacks. $5,000 level. You get a hundred bucks back. You get a Benjamin in the mail from us for supporting our... You just have to get $500. That's easy. That's a hack to get a hundred bucks. Yeah, right easy way to get a hundred dollars. Send yep. us $500. We'll send you... A hundred dollars. That's way better than... We've come so far from our first show where we gave that money-making hack of, like, put on nice clothes, go sit in a cubicle for 40 hours a week. Like, this is so much better. A hundred bucks, and all you have to do is give 500. You're saving time. You're earning money. There's no downside. That seems like a little bit of a hassle to send to everybody. So I think if you said, like, everybody send us $10, and there's a chance that you could win $1,000, and then you get... You know, 10,000 people to send you these $10. And at the end of it, you just pick your own name out of the hat. I like Win that, but flip money. it. Everybody send us $1,000, maybe you'll get 10 bucks back. That's probably a better plan. Yeah. This is and why then, I love the show. And then we pick our own names. And then you pick, yeah. But you were you were talking about tans. Then we get the $10. <laughs> well, summer fun. So what are some of your favorite things about the summertime? There's corn on the cob. Oh. Actually, I have a corn on the cob hack. I'd love to hear it. Okay, kick a chapstick uh, container. Empty out the chapstick, fill up with butter. And you can actually just on. get, uh, we sell directly from our store. We do have empty chapstick containers because that comes up so often. Yeah, we saved a step for you. Speaking of empty chapstick containers, here's a sweet hack for when you're on the beach. So when you're on the beach, there's muggers everywhere. Yep. And you can take that empty chapstick container, put your money in there, put your... Yeah, your quarters, your dimes, your, your pennies. Well, whatever can fit. So when you get mugged, they'll say, give me all your money, and you hand them your empty wallet. Of course... Use our duct tape wallet that we tell you how to hack. Episode three. Episode three. <laughs> do the play by play if you do not mind. But yeah, that you put it in there. It's nice and safe. You you open it. Don't open it in front of any muggers. You'll have to bring like an extra chapstick like for your lips. But you could you can do that with uh, sunscreen containers. Mm. We sell those empty as well. Yeah. It's ninety nine ninety five. It's a, it's a case re- of twenty. It's a real real great hack. I was just thinking the other day. You know, I don't really have a great way of carrying coins with me. They don't really fit well into my wallet, and I don't want to spend money on a coin purse. So what you can do is you can just take a sock and fill that up with quarters. Keep them in there. Another great... So say you don't have a sock, and I don't wear shoes anymore except for my flip-flops. Mm-hmm. So I just take my quarters, like when the cashier gives them to me, and I put them in my cheeks. Like, and, and then you just go like this, and and if you want to get back into the 90s mentality, and you're like, I got a grill, so you got got your money right there. You're like, this smile. is why oh. I've been pushing flavored quarters for years. That's what different, we're gonna move for flavors. The U.S. Mint. <laughs> you know, they, that's <laughs> that's the flavor they should um, be. We're writing. I'm writing a letter tomorrow. <laughs> I'm putting your name on it, but I'm writing a letter tomorrow. Like, dear President, U.S. Mint. Enough said. And we'll fill in the rest. <laughs> Former Governor O'Malley. Mm-hmm. Looking at you. Yeah, as a man who has some pull. Well, he's he's running for president. At the bottom of the letter, there's a bunch of white space. Like, you fill in the rest. There's a bunch of white space. And at the very, very bottom, it's like, just put the quarter in your mouth. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> this has been a great summer fun segment. <laughs> well, let, let's actually talk about the tank. Oh, and actually, we never talked about the tank. Okay, oh, tank. the tank. The tank. Oh, the summer so tank. Getting your tan. I spray tan, and I tan outside. Double coverage. A lot of people, they can't do that. They're not as gifted with my um, tanning ability. Tanner, you are tanner than most. I am tanner than most. But you had a life hack that involved tang for tanning? Yeah. Yep. You can get orange tang, grape tang. Grape tang? I didn't know there was grape tang. It's pretty much the only two flavors. But I'm, yeah. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid you're... I don't know if that... I, I'm going to go to the store after this. But the, you get the tang, what do you do with it? Um, put it on you. It's pretty self-explanatory <laughs> at that point. How 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 does it stick though? It's tang. But you're, I, I'm, you're a very, I'm a very I'm a I'm a very dry person, and I've gotten I don't sweat. Very uh, much. You can buy a full chapstick container, not one of ours, but a, one from the store, a real one, and just rub chapstick all over your skin, just up and down your arms. Oh, and you'll be face. moisturized afterwards. Yeah, you remember oh, the I, milk and eggs from earlier, right? Yeah. If you actually take a whisk to that solution and you just whisk it all up, it's okay if some of them are bad, either one top or bottom. But if you take a little bit of that and you rub it on your skin, and you take Saran wrap and mm-hmm. you put it over that. Then you just wait a couple months for a sunny day. Then you go out, 
Tang's good to go. Mm. It's the equivalent of crisping a turkey, but much healthier because you're actually you're not in a tanning bed. Yeah, it's 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 borderline. You could probably put a turkey in a tanning bed though. Uh, no more than five minutes, otherwise you're tanning, tanning beds aren't necessarily dangerous for turkeys though. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I guess it depends. Living turkeys. Yeah. <laughs> what stage of life is this turkey in? Did you guys ever play uh, Duke Nukem Two? No. no. So one of the power ups was you'd shoot up in a box and a turkey would just run out of it. And you shot it again, it would turn into a fried turkey and it'd be worth more health than a living turkey. <laughs> <laughs> or there'd be like cans of Pepsi and you'd shoot the Pepsi and it would like the flames fly. would fly out of the bottom and it'd be like a rocket and you'd have to like jump up in the air and catch it and you'd get more than just a regular Pepsi can. They did not have the rights to Pepsi, but Pepsi gonna, was in like every PC. I'm gonna have to in try these things. Yeah. Please. Next next week I'll, I'll shoot get a gun. Pepsi can. I'll get my gun. You'll need like a laser gun. Pepsi. Yeah. Oh, it has to be a laser gun. I, I have a laser gun. Flamethrower is fine. It's on the USS Tanner. The USS Tanner. <laughs> well, so I. Oh, every, it's a future tastier teacher, when you have to catch it first. That's true. It gives you more health. Mm-hmm. Yep. I learned that from Duke Nukem. He had a nuclear bomb in his molar. He hid it there from the aliens, so when they kidnapped him, when he was on fake Oprah's TV show, promoting his book, Why I'm So Great. Man, Duke Nukem 2 is such a good game. <laughs> but I remembered a, a story from my life in the last week. Let's see, it's probably, I think it's been like a year since I dyed my hair. I used to, I, the last time I, I bleached it and then I hacked it to like orange and red with Kool-Aid. Um, wasn't using Tang, maybe nice. I should have. But uh, they give you this conditioner that you're supposed to use uh, in the shower for the next week or the next three days or something. You're sp- or you'd use it like once a week for the next three weeks, something like that. And it's supposed to uh, lock in the bleach, something like that. Keep it bleachy. I don't know. I don't know if my hair is going to suddenly get dark after I bleach out all the color. It didn't really make any sense. So I didn't use all of it, and I still had some left, and it was just taking up room in my shower for the last year. So I finally used it up. And then I looked in the mirror the other night, and I had all these gray hairs. I was like, what? I did not make the connection. <laughs> that like this conditioner, oh wait, it actually does suck color out of things. I'm like, was I stressed? Did I get old like in a day? Is this, is this a reverse Benjamin Button kind of thing? <laughs> A reverse Benjamin Button thing? Like aging? Yeah, I mean, kind of like aging. <laughs> and it was weird, because, like, the hairs were just, like, there's just a, a light spot in the middle of the hair. Like, it wasn't the whole, like, this one strand of hair is gray. It was, like, so part stressed. of this hair is really light, lighter than the rest of my hair. Like, if somebody glancing blow with an aging beam just kind of hit the middle of you. You were stressed for But I seriously, minute. like... <laughs> I really thought, like, no guac Am I or graying? Guac? <laughs> I didn't think I was graying. I'm not that old. Um, I'm graying, so thanks I a lot. Oh. <laughs> no, but you, like... Oh. Um, but Ben, you're old, is what Jake's trying to say. <laughs> I have a youthful spirit. I eat rice ladu. Yeah. Jake's <laughs> I wear I, tang on my arms. Uh, uh, just to kind of give you some perspective, Jake's 47. Well, I mean, as far as the Dog usefulness years. goes, it's like... He's eight? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he can. I don't know if he's allowed to eat rice law, dude. An eight-year-old? An eight-year-old, yeah. Like an eight-year-old. Eight-year-old. What are the rules of your immortal race, Jake? <laughs> 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 no rice law dew until you're nine. You know the rules. It's the same thing with Mountain Dew in my family. You <laughs> no Mountain Dew until you're out of this house. Which <laughs> <laughs> if you drink Mountain Dew is very quickly. Did you like sneak Mountain Did you like have a can hidden outside and you'd go out under the full moon? And Yeah, with my uh, my tin cup. <laughs> I would go out and I would sip it. And then <laughs> I would pour it on back the neighbor's <laughs> doors and they'd pour them. Pass them a Mountain chapstick Dew. tube and then they pass <laughs> you a little... An empty chapstick <laughs> tube. A flip-flop thong. <laughs> And then they would they would pass me a Mountain Dew and I didn't like it. It was it was the thrill. <laughs> yeah, doesn't taste good. Me and my brother had just that orange Mountain Dew that was the Halo edition. I heard that high school rumor of if you let it sit for a year, it's better. And so we let it <laughs> sit for two years because I was like, we're already in this, man. Let's just go for it. Oh, it tasted like garbage. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna backpedal just a little bit back to that. So and when I was in middle school, Tyler told me. This, Devin and I went to the same. You guys school. know Tyler. You guys know Tyler. Perry? Yeah, Ty- Tyler. Well, Perry. Tyler. Yeah, yeah, Tyler Perry. <laughs> Tyler Perry called me on on my home phone because that's what we had back then, and he told me, "Hey Tanner, just so you know, if you take a two liter of Mountain Dew and then you store it for a year, it'll be aged Mountain Dew and loses its carbonation, so that's that's a downer. But it'll taste better. And then he said, the more you wait, the better it tastes. 
And so I kept mine <laughs> until really I graduated high school. Strangely short, specific <laughs> phone call. Tanner, quick, I don't have much time. <laughs> well, he he <laughs> was around due for years. It'll taste better. I gotta go. That's what he me. said. That's what he said. And then, and then Tanner pulled it out of the fridge and opened it oh, up. Oh, no, 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 no. No, room Tyler temperature. Perry was resurrected. <laughs> room temperature. And after his money coma from um, Medea. Medea's Family Reunion 4. I don't know if any Tyler Perry movies have a numbered sequel. I don't they know don't, either. I, they're really all like, there's this continuity when it's only like he three made, characters. He makes plenty of money, that's what I was trying to say. So sure. he went into a money coma. Like, like we're going to do after after episode 10. Am I right, guys? With their Kickstarter for with their money. Kickstarter. I mean, our, yeah, that's the next episode. Like Hack your life with Kickstarters. Excellent. But yeah, I stored it until I was uh, I graduated high school and I opened it up. Tyler Perry woke back up, called me, said, thanks, Tanner. I drank a little bit and I regretted it. Would you have regretted it if you drank it right away? Probably. Drunk it? I, if I ingested it right away when I was uh, in middle school, yep. I would have been kicked out of my house. Right. So I would have regretted that. Your parents were like smelling Mountain Dew on your breath. Yeah, they <laughs> said, I, did you drink Mountain Dew in this house? <laughs> they found we a really weird, obscure urine <laughs> test online. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think you'd have to get that obscure to spot Mountain Dew in urine. <laughs> they they have it. They had They're it set in the same. toilets. It's it's a paint. So, oh, yeah. oh. I, I peed on it. It's called outside. Grape Tag. Yeah, they, they ended up painting the trees too. <laughs> if you pee on it after you've had Mountain Dew, it just plays rock music. And you hear the sound of it sounds just it's, like it's, Tyler it's Perry, or Stephen truck, Perry, monster trucks yeah. in the in when I went to middle school uh, or junior high. Some people don't know. But yeah, it played Monster Trucks. Now they've updated it to just make Call of Duty shooting sounds. Oh, that's good. And like little yeah. uh, marijuana leaves go in circles around yeah. the <laughs> and, billboard and, and, in midair. Yeah, and if you yeah. see a plus, you're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they added that feature recently. They're very progressive <laughs> now. Broadening their market. Yeah. A lot of surprised male Call of Duty players. 360 no oh. conception. <laughs> well, you know, actually... The, 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 <laughs> Oh man, I, I would personally, for myself, buy so many pregnancy tests if every time I peed on it from the bathroom, everybody heard 360 no conception. <laughs> oh, I'm starting a business tomorrow. I'm going to put a pin in that test. pregnancy Dwayne test. Dwayne Johnson, do I have a pitch for you? <laughs> Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. I need you. It just picks one randomly between their two voices. Oh, yes. <laughs> that seems like a great place for a break. <laughs> Isn't he Snoop Lion now? Uh, this comes out, okay, you can't talk about Snoop Dogg anymore. Never mind, break off. <laughs> Snoop Lion is his, his reggae music. Snoop Dogg is his rap music. The person didn't... He's still Ooh, wait, Curtis. Wait, 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 wait. But which Snoop Dogg has a reggae? But yeah. which person oh, is his rock and music? Curtis Longfellow. <laughs> oh, that's that's uh, Tracy Curtis Chapman. Um, really quick, back, to, Snoop back to the pregnancy Sorry. test. So if a guy pees on a pregnancy test and it comes out positive... Have you guys seen Snoop Dogg? So yeah, dog? just always go get tested if anything weird happens. <laughs> Has anyone seen Snoop Dogg? With the doctor, with the doctor! <laughs> I no can't one. find my Snoop Dogg. Please help me find my Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg, we miss you, we want you to come home. Snoop Dogg, please come home. Snoop Dogg 2015. Answers <laughs> to the name Snoop. <laughs> Send money to us, we'll send you a Snoop poster. Have you seen Snoop Snoop 2015? He likes We're gonna hugs. find this guy, we're gonna stop him. <laughs> like the send money. I don't care how much. Fifty dollars, six, a million money. dollars. Oh, six is a little I mean you can do a little better than six. It's Snoop Dogg. Who would ever send six dollars to anything? Like what an odd number of money. <laughs> it's even that's what in my head since we talked about the president. What would happen if you just sent the president an empty letter just this is like, hey Mr. President, and then just a blank page with six dollars inside? <laughs> Okay. I, no I, heard, face. I heard that the oh, government good. needs money, so here you go. Like, this is no message. Hey, Mr. President, winky face, six dollars. I'll go ahead and forward that to China. <laughs> uh, have you actually seen any videos of Snoop Dogg playing guitar? I what? He's not very sure. good at it. Right. Really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was gonna. I was gonna end our summer fun segment on. Oh, do you have something else? I do. I do. It. Okay. Just real quick. Cool drinks in the summer. Ice. You're doing it wrong. Okay. Here's the thing. Ice, when it, you put it into a drink, it dissolves, waters down the drink. What you want is a drink that gets cold, but if you put the drink itself in the freezer, obviously it gets frozen, you can't drink it. So how do you keep stuff from freezing? Well, what do they do to roads? They put salt on it. So you just go ahead, take your drink, dump some salt in it, throw it in the freezer, you got yourself a cold drink. Same thing works with just antifreeze. Sweet, too. Sweet cool drink, put some sunglasses on it. I believe uh, seals have natural antifreeze in their blood, I, uh, I believe. So just go ahead and put oh. some seal blood in there. Is that what Kiss Was a Rose from about? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kiss Was a Rose. Um, another, <laughs> my another, another ice ice related hack is uh, when ice, your coffee, ice, 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 ice baby, 
do 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 and then the other one is do 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 do. What? It's different. It, it, like, uh, no, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. a lawyer, but it, well, that's a life hack. I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> I'm not a lawyer, but <laughs> that's the wrong copyright. <laughs> but if you if you have your coffee, yeah. So your coffee, like you take your day old coffee that's cooled down, and you pour it into your ice tray. You chill that. Then you can have iced coffee without watering down your caffeine. Tell your roommates, though, because if you don't, it looks like you've pooped in an ice tray. <laughs> and and oh, four, well, of them, uh, four of them wonder why this is in the freezer. Well, you know, <laughs> maybe we told you in passing. <laughs> I don't know. Put one Tang ice cube in your tray, and then that way you can mark, this one's the coffee. This one's the coffee. <laughs> Yeah, that's the a good issue point. wasn't not knowing, it was getting them confused all the time. <laughs> we ended up it's getting a purple tang, though. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stress enough that you'll be so cool if you use the purple tang instead of the orange tang where you're doing the, the tan. And if you mix them, you get brown tang. You're on the tang express to flavor town. So, so that should be the. To Do you guys know my hack for staying warm in winter? Yeah. This is uh, you. You know, I mean, I, I don't even have to say it. What do I wear all year round? Shorts. Shorts. There we go. Uh, I've been pulled over by cops in February for wearing shorts late at night outside in the north. I will give you, this is now, I'm sharing with you my secret, how I stay warm year-round. This is true. I've actually been really curious about this for a long time. Would I, you like to know? I do. When you're cold, what do you do? Uh, shiver. Die yes. On pants. You shiver. Because you're cold? Or are you cold because you shiver? Oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, the... This is how I uh, deal with cold pools. Stay just, still. Just Stay relax still. your whole body, and it actually okay. If out. you like, if it's really windy out, you're like, "Ooh, what a cool breeze! How refreshing!" In the summertime, when you're moving, you're getting tiny breezes all over your body. <laughs> Stay still. You can wear shorts and get hassled by the cops in February, and you can say, "He can say, where do you live?" And I'll say, like one street over. It's right there. I, I gave him my address. He goes. I don't think that address is around here. I'm like, it, it is. You can watch me. I'm going down the street. What difference does it make, though? <laughs> Just because you're wearing shorts? The cops what? in Redmond, Washington are incredibly bored. <laughs> There's not much. I, I think I've told you so, this story. Like, the guy who passed me right before the cop stopped me was talking very loudly to himself at like one in the morning. <laughs> I'm just like quietly walking to my house. I, uh, one time I went for. I couldn't sleep, and it was like 1 or 2 a.m., so I just went for a run just mm -hmm. around the block. And a cop pulled up. It's like a 30-mile-an-hour spot, and he was going at least 50, and just, like, screeched to a halt across both lanes and got out and pointed his gun at me and said, Don't move! Don't move right there! And apparently I matched the description of someone who had just assaulted his girlfriend and then fled the scene. <laughs> <laughs> I had some explaining to do. <laughs> he was like, I was wearing a white shirt and shorts, and the police thought he, he thought he caught him. I was like, no, I'm just jogging. It's like, you're running at 2 a.m. I was like, that's, I'm pretty sure it's allowed. <laughs> I really hope that the crime took place like 40 miles away. And that guy was like, oh, he couldn't find him. And he's driving home. And he's like, oh, oh, look, there he is right there. <laughs> he's amazing. Stanima. 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 I like going to the Stanima to watch Stan films. <laughs> Stan films are my favorite. <laughs> uh, our final summer fun son fun hack is uh this is this is a summer fun hack that i like to use every christmas it's watching the time when snoop dogg went on to martha stewart and made green brownies <laughs> <laughs> look it up it's on the internet it's some of the finest summer tv you can watch at christmas time <laughs> Wrestler. Hacksaw something. No idea what you're talking about. There was a, ha a, a hack something. I was going to look it up. Mountain and Landis? Bonesaw? This is a great... Bonesaw is ready. Welcome to our questions segment. You're going nowhere. Bonesaw is ready. My friend, for like three <laughs> years after Spider-Man came out, every single time we saw each other, and we had gym class together, so we'd see each other every day. You're going nowhere. <laughs> We do it like again and again, just like louder and louder at each other. It was adorable. <laughs> do we have some questions? Uh, yeah, we do. First off, 
Actually, this isn't a question. Uh, Mama Luke writes in, sometimes I forget to take the butter out of my fridge so it's cold and I can't spread it. So what I do is I microwave my butter knife and then it just cuts right through the butter. Nice. That's so smart. I, I have uh, two questions actually. The first one is, so a lot of our listeners follow the trends in nail polish. I played bassoon, so... I guess I do too. And I have a lot of excess nail polish for marking my reads and like their quality and stuff. And I have my system. And I came up with, and a lot of people have been asking what to do with excess nail polish, like after it's not quite doing well. Um, and you can mark your keys. So you'll know like, this is your house key. This is your deadbolt, your uh, knob bolt. And yeah, like nice little hacks like that. And another one is um, a lot of people have dogs that listen to the show. Dogs chew up tennis balls real quick. So when that tennis ball isn't quite usable anymore, get an adult, or if you are an adult, get your grandma. Or your parents. If you don't have parents, then you're Batman, so get Jarvis to do it. I, I don't remember his you name. You need to watch more superhero movies. <laughs> <laughs> get your Roomba to do it for you, but you nail it to the wall, give it a mouth, give it googly eyes, and shove things in its mouth. And it will hold them for you. It's adorable. Sometimes. Or Here's just to relieve stress. What's, what's the purpose of the balls of the mouth? Sometimes you just need someone to talk to. <laughs> Here's a letter that comes in from Heather from Toronto. Heather writes... Hi, I love puppets, but I just don't know how to make all these puppets like they do on TV. I don't own any socks. Do you have some suggestions? Well, Heather, we do. I have the same problem. Where's she gonna put her coins? Well, she's putting them in her mouth just like me. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Delicious. Uh, it turns out- Write your senators. That as long as you have somebody that no one will miss and a knife, maybe a few pieces of string, you can make your own puppet at home. Plan B. Yeah. In case you don't have anyone in your life, maybe buy some socks. We would like to repurpose things. Yeah. Maybe find right. some socks. That's much better. Plan C. Are you married to this literal interpretation of the term puppet? Or can we get a little more liberal with our interpretation there? Yeah, if you can start uh, kind of bending someone to your will mm -hmm. uh, and have yeah. them, you know, going about their lives, uh, you know, doing things that you tell them to. What if... Oh, like a boy band. You create yes. an alter ego. You can make a boy band be puppets. Dance, Zane, dance. <laughs> if you, That's the boy gone. band I had in mind. He's gone, Zane's Tanner. coming Let back. Zane is coming back. His hair is coming back, too. Intervention, intervention, intervention. <laughs> uh, Zane, you know... Tanner, you don't know. Oh, oh. Zane's coming back. What was um that that, that reality show where they made a boy band? Making the, the band. No, what's the band's name? O Town. I want O Town back so badly. Or just know what happened to them. Wait, they were made from a TV show? Yeah. yeah. They found some people and then made a TV show around forcing them to be O Town. Wow. Did they have to compete to be in the band or were they? I, I can't remember. It was so long. That was like ninety eight, ninety nine, something like yeah. that. It was, I watched that show. I was into it, man. That was, I my sister was into it and it was on the television in my house. I was into it. I don't care about that nice little sister jab you added in there. I liked it. They probably got taken apart and repurposed into other reality TV stars. <laughs> they did making the band for three years. That's and right. Just, I only saw the first Each band season. had less and less relevance and popularity because you can only flood the market with so many boy bands. You mean American Idol? <laughs> that was season burn. four of making the band was season one of American Idol. <laughs> Look, we get it. You're tired of boy bands. How about a single person? That's less to do. Can you do that? How about Kelly Clarkson? You guys like Justin and Kelly? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll never sit again. Uh, one, one other puppet you could have is uh, you, you can control yourself. Oh. <laughs> That's right. You, your brain can hack your body yeah, you to can make a person puppet. Put your brain inside the puppet's head. Put your brain inside the puppet's head. Puppet head. Hmm. I read on the internet that the left and right side of your brains are literally different people. And so if you just tell one of them to take over and then tie a string to like the other hand, then you were making a half of your brain into a puppet. That's 50% efficient, but you know, sometimes you gotta settle. That's what my mom said. That's what she said on your birthday. <laughs> It was oh, on the birth certificate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, every year, birth certificate. <laughs> is, so you're... Happy birthday to you. Let's say we put down the Sometimes name, <laughs> time of birth, gender, doctor uh, who delivered it, anything else motto? on here. Motto. Yeah, no, I have something to put on there. I got some questions for this kid. There's a checkbox. Did you settle for this? Yeah. <laughs> it's another one of those Mountain Dew babies. Not in my house. Your baby is ready. <laughs> that's the other brand. <laughs> that's the other brand? That's, like... the, that's the one. One of them tells you you're pregnant, and that one just tells if you're ovulating or not. Bonesaw tells you if you're ovulating. <laughs> Do you ever have to change the batteries? 
<laughs> no, they're disposable. Don't want to. Who would reuse? Nah, you don't reuse a pregnancy test. But just I'm going to gonna submit a question right now. What other uses could we find for a used pregnancy test? Why throw it away after one use? That's uh, what we're all about. Uh, us. Gross, okay. non-functioning thermometer. <laughs> Sticky bookmark. <laughs> Popsicle stick fort. If you have enough of them, sure. You know who doesn't? I have. A, I actually I get tested every day. You can make the Alamo. <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to read through Prisoner of Azkaban. Do you have my sticky bookmark? I Boom I, saw I, is ready. <laughs> Remember our life hack from episode 12. Take a picture of the person that borrowed the thing. What? Coffee stir. You can stir your coffee. <laughs> Put it in your ice tray. All right, Moby Richard writes in. <laughs> Moby Richard writes. <laughs> oh. What can I do to help find my purpose in life? Write a book. A special purpose. I've got one of those. <laughs> just kind of. Well, okay. just kind of find your white whale. <laughs> you know, get you got to get on your metaphoric boat. Don't stop. Can't stop. Get some of your friends on that Won't boat stop. that have already gotten their whale, and it'll be uh, fun. Fun pressure. Oh, yeah. happy pressure. Oh, yeah, happy yeah, yeah. pressure. Peer, Peer encouragement. Is, they'll question you, and then you say back to them. Split your lungs with blood and thunder when you see the white whale. Break your back and crack your oarsmen if you wish to prevail. In the end, you know they'll 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 go what? And from and pregnancy tests, I stab it. From pregnancy tests, I stab it. Grab thy sticky bookmark. <laughs> Bonesaw stabs at thee. Oh, I My name is Bonesaw. <laughs> okay. The I would love. To, line of that I'm gonna go. I want to go through Moby Dick <laughs> and just call replace. Me, all, call, me, call me Bonesaw. Call, call me Bonesaw. <laughs> replace. It's a good joke. You say it right. <laughs> call me Bonesaw. <laughs> all right. I think that's about all the time we have for questions. But remember, you can always send your questions to us. You can you can call in on our phone line. We haven't been getting a lot of calls on that. But we do have that set up now. Uh, that number, of course, is 911. For our European <laughs> listeners, that's triple nine. You can just 999, and uh, we're ready for to take... For our German listeners, that's no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and that if you happen to live way out in the middle of nowhere in the country, it's just zero. And then they will connect you to 911. They'll you ask you, what's your emergency? Yeah. And you just let them know what kind of hacking emergency you have for us to solve here on Life Hack Thack. Frequently asked questions like all those that we got, that we get all the time. But of course, we are here on the Tralala Radio Network. We're not the only show on the Tralala Radio Network. Tralala is home to so many original shows, unique content you can't find anywhere else. Shows like The Geekist and Wackynomics, My So-Called American Life. Jokity Boom Boom, his brother, his brother, and him. The Inside Preteens. Hey, is this sexist? Harmonville. Radio Labradoodle. Good job, Liver. A strong, independent prairie home. Uh, we have some kind of a bomb cast. I don't know if it's giant, but we're not getting any complaints about it. Uh, we have When Did This Get Made? And we have Muppets Tonight Vale. Really, a lot of great shows, unique to our channel. You can reach any of the Tralala Radio Network shows, as well as Life Hack Fact at tralala radio network at gmail.com that's t-r-a-l-a-l-a-a-r-a-d-i-o-n-e-t-w-o-r-k at g-m-a-i-l dot c-o-m i meant to just spell the first part and then i kept going uh we're also on twitter that's tralala radio t-r-a-l-a-l-a-a no network on that one tralala radio and tralala radio network at tumblr.com we should be on facebook we should be on other places if there's a social network that you like to use please don't scoop up the website unless you're going to give it to us and let us take over but then we'll change the password so you can't use it you can also reach me personally on twitter at at symbol jake that's the at symbol a t S-Y-M-B-O-L-J-A-K-E. I actually got a new follower this week, which is weird because I haven't done anything on Tumblr in like a year. Uh, but somebody wanted to promote their Wii U eShop game, and I'm not going to tell you who it was. <laughs> Look at how well that strategy works. <laughs> it gets you, gets you numbers. It was Shovel Knight. Yeah. Oh, as always, our music was provided by Bronte Loves Kafka. Love them. They do great work for us. Uh, great. Uh, you can find them on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, I want to promote the sun for giving us life. And I want to promote the moon for making sure the sun doesn't get too full of itself. Welcome back to the podcast. All of our racism is edited out in post. <laughs> <laughs>